Welcome back to Character Select. Find a good place for an ambush. Perhaps behind Carey's cabin near the window. So, shut up, Lestrade. I'm the Holmes here. Not you. <laughs> this looks like the perfect hiding place. Does it? Each time you found a new clue. Okay. So I'm assuming there's false clues and red herrings? Sort of. Like I said, there are multiple solutions to the case. But one only is, one correct one. One is correct, yes. Gotcha. And so it'll... I mean, this one's pretty pretty straightforward, but it'll Well, the get, first case in a game like this is yeah. always straightforward. Well, I mean, yeah, obviously. But it'll get more and more convoluted later on. Right. And you haven't finished the last case, right? Yeah, I sort of held off on that. All right. Shh. Did you hear that? Yes, you said shh. There's someone there. I'm going to collar him. I'll be right behind you. Will I? Police! Hold it right there! Apparently. Do, 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 do. <coughs> I'm just gonna saunter in. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Dear sir and or madam. It's like a right, like a right, sitcom right, where he walks in the door you? like Kramer and everybody laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> you, <laughs> you imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. I assure you I'm innocent. Really? Innocent? And what are you doing in his cabin? Getting Shall shot in three you, seconds. You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey. Man, look at those fucking hands. Waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... I didn't... Jay Chen. I came here yesterday. No, but... But I... Yes, it, it's just that I couldn't... I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. What? But you can't. I'm not... It's a terrible mistake. I'm Enough. sure. You can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. The to yard, the quote TM. unquote yard. In light of recent events, it's <laughs> the yard trademark your copyright. It was unnecessary. <laughs> all the same, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. You well. are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him tomorrow morning. Now I'm in, and I will find the answer. And the true mm. moiterer. Time it's for more loading screens. Moiter, I tell ya. The yard. The Scatlin yard. A box or small chest, perhaps. Peter I don't Terry. know why the tobacco pouch is, is a thing. But. Because, uh, you'll see. Oh, he actually takes out the notebook while he's going, too? That's kind of cool. Uh, he was actually reading Crime and Punishment. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> it's a very big theme Good in this game, Holmes. if you Can weren't able to, to tell. Good morning, Constable. I would like to speak to the fellow who was arrested. You know, if they were actually much better for actually streaming and recording, I would say we should play the shit out of the Phoenix Wright games, but... Oh, I love those games. Uh, they're so much fun. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> they, uh... They have the edition on the Wii that you can play. Do they? Yeah. I mean, I... It's on the virtual have... console on the Wii. Huh. Is this the... It is the evidence room. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> These are the suspect's belongings. The notebook that we found on Peter Carey's cabin floor. All that blood. Evidence required. Pocket knife. Pocket mm -hmm. knife. It was used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. It's also got a chipped blade. It does. A handkerchief with the initials J H N. Mm hmm. And partner, 1883. From R. Dawson. To my friend, Dawson. I've seen this name before. Perhaps my hmm. archive holds the answer. 
<laughs> you mean my brain? No, he means the giant stack of newspapers he has back at his apartment. Oh. So see, that'll tell you what you need to do to, like, figure out stuff about it. Gotcha. Um, <clears throat> I wanna... There. Oh, there we go. Following abbreviations inside. A-S-M-T-Y-B-R-S-O-M-T-I-T-K Rano Gint CPR. Okay, yeah. okay, so my first thought was that this was, like, a ledger for, um, for, like, gambling debts or something, mm -hmm. but... Peter Carey is not there, so that does that. It, it's connected somehow, but I don't know how yet. All right. Well, it's, yeah, it's clearly connected. Oh, obviously. <clears throat> I want the guns. <laughs> Get on the ground. Get on the ground. <laughs> so, is it worth going back to check the archive now, or is it not going to let me anyway? Uh, you can go back now. You can do whatever you want until you finish cool. solving the case. You could also go talk to the uh, the. The suspect right now, if you wanted to. Since I could, here. but I want to. I want to find out more about this Dawson dude. All right, loading screen. Smoking his pipe. Have you ever smelled uh, pipe smoke or pipe tobacco? Nope. Oh my god, it is. I've smelled a okay. cigar. Okay, so having smelled a cigar, imagine something. Much sweeter and much thicker. So it's just a very cloying sort of... It feels sticky, too. I don't know how else to describe it. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like smoking at all, but, I mean, that's because I'm not super cool dude who's super cool all the time. <gasps> Toby! Toby! The best nose in the British Empire. Also, there's the, uh, the telescope you can look through. Ooh! Let's be a peeping... Oh, God. <laughs> You fucking knew that was gonna happen, didn't you? I did know that was gonna happen. I have no problems with people that are large, but they obviously made her to be ugly, so. Yep. Um. That is not the one I need. There we go. Dawson and Illigan Investment Fund, a regional banking institution based in Cornwall, has declared bankruptcy as a result of heavy losses in its loan portfolio and has accordingly been assigned for liquidation. 23rd largest bank in Britain and its bankruptcy was the second largest on record. Liquidation of the company is pure catastrophe for many Cornwall families. Joshua Nelligan, JHN, one of the bankers, has since mysteriously disappeared. He was last seen aboard his yacht preparing for departure to Norway. Nelligan is wanted both by the police and his creditors. Huh. I don't think this Nelligan is that yeah, Nelligan. Is. He's a little young, yeah. isn't he? Now I begin a little to bit. understand that young man's story, but I am still unclear. Ah, fuck. Well, didn't mean to do that. Ooh, letters? This yep. is where I keep my post. As, With a knife. Yeah, that's my how uh, it can canonically is stored in the, uh, the book series. Huh. He keeps his post so under a knife on the mantelpiece. Uh, I will admit that uh, the only home story that I've actually read is uh, Hounds of Baskerville, mm -hmm. which I didn't actually enjoy. So, but I find that I find the character and the story work of Holmes to be fascinating. So, see, my problem with Sherlock Holmes is that they're not true mysteries. Yeah, they're not. They're not fair play whodunits. They're more like an action sort of thing, like hmm. like fucking. Um, any of the Dan Brown's books or whatever, you know? Right. Those aren't mysteries. They're action stories with unknown elements in them. <clears throat> yeah, a mystery has... A mystery has the ability to, to get all the evidence and figure it out. But. Well, it's more that a true mystery... Ha you have to allow the reader to be a part of the story, to, like, understand people's motivations or be inside people's heads or something. Right. That's a fair play whodunit. Yeah. You have, the equal, you have an equal chance of solving the mystery as the character in the book. Yeah. Hey, Dawson. I have heard the story of Dawson and Nelligan, the West Country bankers. Yes. Joshua Nelligan was my father. See? I am aware that it had a bad ending. When the bank failed, it ruined half the families of Cornwall. Whereupon Joshua Nelligan disappeared. 
My father was under extraordinary pressure. Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but it was still old enough to feel the shame that befell our family. So this is like 1895 or six, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Time. He set sail for Hammerfest in Norway in his small yacht just a few days <coughs> before an arrest warrant was issued. He huh. left my mother a list of the securities he was taking. No word was ever heard from him again. We believe that his vessel went down, taking with it everyone and everything on board. Ah, uh, I think I see what's happening here. Some progress. Maybe. Do you? No, but I'm going to take a look at your stuff because I forgot about that. Shabby cap. Patch. You missed one. See, they're in order, so they'll... Yeah. Yeah. Shabby cap. What am I... Well, just keep going for now. Expensive fabric. Elaborate buttons. Callus. Scars. Okay. I think I'm getting an idea here. Oop. Thin neck. Alright, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm missing. Not about the pants. Short sleeves. The jacket doesn't fit, but it's a nice jacket. He doesn't want to give it up. Interesting. That, and it used to be a good jacket, but he doesn't yeah. have money Does anymore, so he has to patch it. Long to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. But where did you find it? I did not know. I, I, I thought I'd lost it at the hotel. What mm, do these sure. abbreviations mean? Oh, no. I beg you, I can't. If I told you, it would only make things worse. But I will find out eventually, Mr. Nelligan. That's so fucking sinister sounding. <laughs> he's a sinister dude. <clears throat> the sea knife was found near Carrie's He's body. he's a sociopath. Me, Mr. Nelligan, did Mr. Carry try to defend a little bit? Well, actually, he's technically a um, a I psychopath. Yeah, sociopath is. I don't think sociopath is actually like a real thing. It's like a form of psychopathy. Uh, sociopath is is no longer a word in common usage now. Apparently the term now is uh, extreme antisocial disorder. Yeah, I believe so. But yeah, it's uh, but he's a psychopath. Valuable ring from your yeah. Who's it? Is? Uh, he does not feel, steal it from doesn't tend to feel empathy or to me. Yeah. strong emotions. It has always belonged to me. The ring's engraving says no. Okay, wait, I have to think. Um, it's not his father's jacket, it's his jacket, but it's old and... But what, not... what piece of evidence is he talking about? Uh, I'm talking about the ring, and he's saying, I didn't steal it from anyone, it's always belonged to me. No, it hasn't. Wait, hold on, let me look at the ring again. From R. Dawson to my friend and partner, 1883. Dude, this ring is from before you were born. Or when he was like ten or something. Yeah. The ring's date of engraving is many years ago. You would have been a child then, hardly in any position. Oh my god, I actually followed his logic him. too. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? Is it the your father who's mine. supposed to be mysteriously disappeared? It's not his father's jacket, though, is it? It is. Oh. I can't bring up the rings engraving again because I've done that already. Mm hmm And the tobacco patch and the well-kept garden, ha garden have nothing to do with it. Profile? I don't understand what profile of victim means. Go to the victim. Oh. Yeah, go to your evidence or whatever. The profile of the victim. Okay. 1884, eventually moving to Woodsman, Woodman's Lee. So he retired in 1884. This ring was from 1883. Oh my god, he <clears throat> fucking pirated his father's shit. Or Carrie, took, or Carrie was on the same route and took Nelligan's shit and retired with it. 
God damn it, what a dick. But... Maybe it's the well-kept garden. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know if I should push the father's jacket or the profile of the victim. Well, whose ring is it? It's his father's. Is it? Go to the ring. To my friend and partner, 1883. So who's R. Dawson? He's the guy that... Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so... His father's jacket doesn't have anything to do. I'm gonna go with profile. No, I I would go with the father's jacket because it's his father's ring. No, Mr. Nelligan, I believe okay. that the ring had belonged to your father. I oh, see. But, but how do you know? Because the Dawson was his partner. Is made yeah. Of an expensive fabric that only so you were trying to tell him who the ring belonged to. It didn't to belong right. to Peter Carey. It had to be right. belong to Nelligan. And the only piece of evidence that you could the talk about was the gotcha. jacket. It is quite I see the logic now. Okay. Most probably Not as bad as L.A. Noir, but... With your father gone and taking with him the family's wealth, as a little boy you had to find yourself a manual job, and it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut mm, your hands mm, off cleaning fish. Work. Delicious. I, can tell I hate fish. Stars. I love sushi, though. I love I'm fish. speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, it all happened exactly as you say. It always happens exactly as you say. Interesting. Because he's... Joshua Nelligan and Peter Carey were both at sea in Norway. There is definitely some connection between Peter Carey... Yeah, Peter Carey fucking Nelligan's sank Joshua Nelligan's ship and took his crap. There might be more to it than that, though. That's true. <clears throat> Quickly and instinctively... Logs to Nelligan, Peter Carey's body was in Okay, so I don't have any other clues. Alright. But what was the break in attempt for? I would imagine, like, I would imagine that what it's trying to tell me to do is say that Joshua Nelligan broke in to steal his stuff back from Peter Carey, his father's stuff. Or find proof that Peter Carey had taken his father's stuff. Peter Carey was there, and no. Joshua took the harpoon and stabbed him. Yeah, but the the if you go back into the deduction thing... So the break-in attempts... Why would he want to get back in after he murdered him? Because he needed the notebook. Yep. Recover the notebook that had been lying in the... This proves the guilt of the person who made these attempts. Sure... But that's not all. He's armed with his knife, but he did not have time to use it, so... Whoever did it, pinned him to the wall immediately. Ooh, an experiment. Nice! Yeah. <laughs> and see, what's interesting is, like, eventually, once you reach the end of the cases, like, all of those little I neurons should. or whatever... To will be like yeah. connected or whatever and you have to like pick there'll be like ones where you can switch between one of the two and it'll like create this path to the solution you choose interesting so we now have to examine the ship's logs and we have to recreate this experiment so yep. where's the ship's log uh the ship's log is in the cabin oh so let's go back to woodsman's lean then i guess loading screen Yay! And next time on Character Select, we're going to try and solve more More cases. crime and punishment! <laughs> so, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And Tyler, what do you have to say for yourself? He really likes that book. Apparently everybody does. He has, like, which... five different copies of it. Well, I personally think fuck Dostoevsky, because god damn, that guy's dry-ass writer. Dostoevsky? Dostoevsky? What did I say? You said Dostoevsky. Dostoevsky! Good man, that guy. <laughs> Dostoevsky. I can't say that.